Ross it. Before we get to the plea, we have some other matters we need to put on the record. Uh, right. Competency in the exam. That's correct. All right. As far as the, want to adjust the competency first? Yes. All right. Um, Your Honor, by order of this court, at the request of both parties, the defendant was referred to the State of Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, Services the Center for Forensic Psychiatry, for an examination to determine if he was both competent to stand trial and also a criminal responsibility exam. Um, the defendant was properly examined and interviewed by Candace, and that's spelled with a Y, C A N D Y C E, Shields. Um, she is a board certified in forensic psychology um, doctor employed by the Forensic Center. Based on her examination of the defendant, she has determined and opined that this defendant is indeed competent to stand trial. Um, if you would like, I can have the report marked as an exhibit. I believe counsel will sim we'll stipulate, stipulate to the contents of the report. Okay. And also as to criminal responsibility as well, we'll stipulate to the contents of the report. And the findings of that particular report is he's not client criminal responsible. Okay. And the reports are dated December 14th. Well, competency is December 14th, 2016. The criminal responsibility is January 17th, 2017. So I'd ask that they be marked as people's proposed exhibits one and two and admitted. Any objections? No. Right. So admitted. I will sign the order of competency as well. Also, um, Mr. Green, you put a stand. Uh, Mr. Green, you understand you have a statutory right to an independent psychiatric evaluation of both criminal responsibility and also competency. Is that correct, sir? And at this time, do you wish to forego that right and at this point take the prosecutor's offer at this time? Yes. Thank you. Mr. Green, please just keep your voice nice and loud, all right? And can I get your name for the record? Gregory Green. Okay. Uh, anything further on the competency issue? No, Your Honor. Now, as to the uh, preliminary examination. Issue, uh, Mr. Green, do you understand that you have an absolute right to a preliminary examination? Yes, I do. And today is the day and time set for that preliminary examination. Do you understand that, sir? Yes. Anybody forcing you to waive that preliminary examination? No, sir. And are you doing so freely and voluntarily? Yes. Do you understand at the preliminary examination that people must establish by probable cause that a crime is committed and probable cause that you've committed that crime? Do you understand that, sir? <coughs> yes. And by waiving this examination, you're giving up the right to have such an exam in the future. Do you understand that as well, sir? Yes. Okay, uh, I guess as a formality counsel, I think your client needs to sign this examination. If you take a moment there. Those are, that forms everything that I just stated to you, sir, and now it's memorialized in writing. Just take a second and read that, because I will more hear you on that in a second. Sir, this form that I have shown is the examination waiver form. Do you remember signing it just now, sir? Yes. And before you signed it, did you read it and did you understand it? Yes, sir. All right, I will execute the waiver form as well. I do believe it's fairly voluntarily understandably made. Normally, we would buy this matter over to the circuit court for further proceedings, but it's my understanding we do now have a, a plea. Is that right, counsel? That's my understanding, Judge. That is correct. And do you want to... Uh, State the terms of the plea, please. I will, Your Honor. Uh, it's a, my understanding that the defendant is prepared to accept the settlement offer of the people today, whereby he will tender a plea of guilty to the following charges. Count one, murder in the second degree of Kaylee Green. Count two, murder in the second degree of Coy Green. Count three, murder in the second degree of Kara Allen. 
Count four, murder in the second degree of Channing Allen. Count five, torture. Count six, assault with intent to do great bodily harm, less than murder. Count 10, felony firearm. Uh, the people will agree pursuant to the plea to withdraw the habitual second notice to enhance sentence. We will also agree to dismiss count seven, eight, and nine, which are unlawful imprisonment, felony, felon in possession of a firearm, and felonious assault. This plea um, also has written into it a sentence agreement whereby if this court does accept the guilty pleas of the defendant, he would be sentenced to a term of 45 years to 100 years in the Michigan Department of Corrections, plus two years consecutive for the felony firearm charge. Council, is that a correct rendition of the, uh, the settlement agreement? It is. All right. All right, Mr. Green, do you understand what's going on today? Yes. All right, and can you understand uh, the English language, sir? Yes, sir. And can you hear and understand me, sir? Yes. And how old are you, sir? I'm um, 15. And how far did you go with your education, sir? 12. You consent to allowing the district court to accept the felony plea on your behalf, uh, on behalf of the circuit court, pursuant to court rules, sir? Yes, sir. And does the defense so consent? We do. And prosecutor? Yes, sir. And sir, Mr. Green, are you a citizen of the United States? Yes. And do you understand if you had a, if you had a prior felony, there could be an increase in the maximum sentence? I know this is a settlement agreement, but do you understand that, sir? Yes. And, um, uh, are you, he's not on probation or parole right now, is he? No, Judge. Okay. And you have offered to plead guilty in this matter. Before accepting your plea, the court must be convinced that you understand the following. Okay, sir? Yes, sir. If our plea if, is accepted, you will, you will not have a trial of any kind, and you will be giving up the rights you would have at trial, including the right to be tried by a jury. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, sir. To be presumed innocent until proven guilty. Do you understand that, sir? Yes. Do you have the prosecutor prove beyond a reasonable doubt that you are guilty? Do you understand that, sir? Yes, sir. Do you have the witnesses against you appear at trial? Do you understand that, sir? Yes. To question the witnesses against you? Do you understand that, sir? Yes. Do you have the court order any witnesses you have for the defense to appear at the trial? Do you understand that, sir? Yes. To remain silent during the trial? Do you understand that, sir? Yes. Do not have that silence used against you? Do you understand that, sir? Yes. And to testify at the trial if you want to testify? Do you understand that, sir? Yes, sir. If your plea is accepted, any appeal from your conviction and sentence pursuant to this plea will be the will be by application for leave to appeal and not by right. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, sir. You will be required to state orally on the record that you have read and understood all of the above and that you agree to waive all of the above rights uh, pursuant to the advice of rights form. Does he have a copy of that uh, <coughs> rights form? Yes, he does, Your Honor. Okay. Yes. Do you, uh, do you agree, sir? Yes. You also have a right to have an attorney present throughout the trial, and you do have an attorney. You understand that, sir? I understand. <coughs> have you had adequate opportunity to discuss this matter with your attorney, sir? Yes. Are you satisfied with the services of your attorney at this time? Yes, sir. Now, there are three types of pleas, guilty, not guilty, no contest. Do you understand that? Yes. Is there anything the court has said up to this point that you do not understand and wish you would like to have explained further? No, sir. Is your plea the result of the agreement between you, your attorney, and the prosecuting your attorney? Is that correct, sir? Yes, sir. Were any other terms, were, are there any other terms to the agreement if you know, sir? No, 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 sir. And you understand the nature of the offense that you're pleading guilty to, sir? Yes. And you understand the uh, maximum sentence that uh, could be imposed in this, in this uh, yes, okay. case, you understand that? Therefore, sir, as to the charge of murder in the second degree regarding Kaylee Green, how do you wish to plead? Uh, guilty, sir. As to the charge of murder in the second degree as to Coy Green, how do you wish to plead? Guilty, sir. As to the charge of murder in the second degree as to Kara Allen, how do you wish to plead? Guilty. As to murder in the second degree as to Chadri Allen, how do you wish to plead? Guilty. As to the charge of torture, in count five, sir, how do you wish to plead? Guilty. As to the charge of assault with intent to do great bodily harm, less than the crime or murder, as to Faith Green, and, 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 sir, how do you wish to plead to that? Guilty. And as to the torture, it was as to Faith Green, and it just... It's, yes, sir. Okay. As to the charge of uh, felony firearm, sir, in count ten, how do you wish to plead to that? Guilty. Is that the defense counsel's understanding of the total agreement? 
That is correct, yes. And is that the prosecutor's understanding of the total agreement? Yes, Your Honor. Aside from that agreement, did anyone promise you anything in the way of favor, leniency, probation, or anything else to get you to plead guilty, sir? No, sir. Did anyone threaten you in any way to get you to plead guilty, sir? No, sir. Did anyone indicate what your sentence would actually be except with the agreement that was placed on the record, sir? No, sir. Is, this, is it your own choice to plead guilty today? Yes, it is. Do you plead guilty because, in fact, you did commit the act with which you are charged? Yes, sir. All right. Please raise your right hand, sir. Be soundly sure and affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you out. I do. All right. Can you tell the court, in your own words, what you did on or about September 21st, 2016, as to count one murder in the second degree, Kaylee Green? Unfortunately, um, I took the life of Kaylee, Kaylee Green and Chloe Green, Chadney and Kara, my stepchildren, um, used a felony firearm and I shot my, um, my ex-wife in the foot. Okay, and well, you, you indicated you took the life of Kaylee Green, Coy Green, Kara Allen, and Chattery Allen. Is that correct, sir? Yes. All right. You took the life. How did you take their life, sir? Uh, I left my, uh, my two girls in the car. And they, uh, Yes. 
Okay, and did you know that by shooting her multiple times, the natural tendency of that act would cause her death or would cause her great bodily harm? Yeah. All right, people are satisfied as to count three, Your Honor. Defense is satisfied. Count four. Count four. Um, again, Mr. Green, at the Hip Street address on September 21st, did you use that handgun that you just admitted to possessing to repeatedly um, shoot Chadney Allen? Yes. And did you know at the time that you repeatedly shot him that the natural tendency of that act would cause his death or great bodily harm? Yes. And did it indeed cause his death? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, people are satisfied as to count four, Your Honor. Defense is satisfied. All right, as to count six. Um, actually, five. Torture, Judge? Uh, I'm sorry, two? count five first before count six. Thank yes. you. Um, at the Hip Street address on September 21st, 2016, um, on that date, you were married to Ms. Faith Green, correct? Yes. Okay, and was she present at the location um, at the time that you shot both Kara Allen and Chadney Allen to death? Yes. Okay, did you shoot those children in front of their mother, Ms. Faith Green? Yes, I did. In addition to doing that, um, did you also shoot Ms. Green in the feet? Yes. And did you also um, cut Ms. Green multiple times on her face with a sharp object? Yes, sir. Okay, and did you do those things with the intent to cause cruel or extreme physical or mental pain or suffering to Ms. Green? Yes. And do you believe that those actions actually did inflict great bodily injury or severe mental pain and suffering upon Ms. Green? Yes, sir. People are satisfied as to count five, Your Honor. Defense is satisfied. Count six, please. Count six is assault with intent to be great bodily harm less than murder. Um, to Ms. Green, on September 21st, 2016, Mr. Green, um, did you make an assault upon Faith Green as, as we previously discussed by shooting her in the feet and also slicing her face with a sharp object? Yes. And did you do that with the intent to cause great bodily harm to her? Yes. People are satisfied, Your Honor, as to count six. Defense is satisfied. And finally, as to count ten. As to count ten, um, Mr. Green, you've already um, indicated you have possession of a firearm. But during the time of while you were committing the crime of second degree murder, torture, and or assault with intent to degree bodily harm, did you possess that firearm? Yes. And that was all on September 21st, 2016, correct? Correct. People are satisfied, John. Defense is satisfied with factual basis. Okay. Uh, is the prosecutor satisfied the court has complied with the uh, rules? I believe it's 6.302, I believe it is. We are, Your Honor. And the defense is satisfied. All right. I will therefore accept the plea as offered freely, voluntarily, and understandably, intentionally made to find that the defendant did commit the acts with which he is charged and to which he has pled. This court has not agreed upon a possible sentence with the prosecutor or defendant, as, except as stated in the settlement agreement, or acting uh, in the interest of either. I also acknowledge receipt of the original information for the file. Um, do you have copies of the, uh, you have copies of the information, is that correct? Yes, we sir. Do. Uh, um, this matter is hereby then bound over for sentencing in the circuit court before the Honorable, do we have that information? I don't, Your Honor. We probably won't know until it was, two or three days from now. Right. It was my understanding that the clerk will advise us of that information. Is there a problem that we don't have the name of the judge that's going to sentence uh, Mr. Green? Not to be signed, no. No, Judge. All right. Um, I am ordering a pre-sentence report to the Adult Probation Department. We'll continue the bond as previously ordered. Do we um, know the date of sentencing, though, Judge? The date? Or not. Two weeks, weeks Josh. If we could tentatively March, place March, March 1st, then? Yeah, and then if it needs to be changed downtown, Mr. Longstreet now speak to the circuit court clerk. Okay. Date of sentencing March 1st, the Wayne County Circuit Court. 
Okay, is there anything further uh, by prosecutor? No, Judge, thank you. Doctor from the defense, thank you. All right. There we go. Sure. 